Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Leg Robotics. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you the world's best Lego Mindstorms Sumo Bot. This dude is awesome. And then we're also going to have an experiment with it. So if you want to see everything, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. So this is the same um, gear bot that I had last week, although I knew I could make it into a really cool sumo bot. So I am not just throwing that claim around. I've actually seen this robot in our robotics class just annihilate other robots. So today I'm going to let, you know, the GearBot do its talking for it. What I'm going to do is have an experiment where I'm trying to push some really heavy things just to show you how much power and torque this thing has. So let me go ahead and show you the features about it and then let's get to the experiment. Okay guys, so there's the GearBot. You guys saw it last week pulling a lots of weight. Today it's going to be pushing a lot of weight. Now, if you're gonna be in a sumo contest um, in your robotics class, the GearBot's an amazing robot, but you wouldn't wanna just put the GearBot by itself. So I did make some modifications. Here in the front, I have a shovel here. So, you know, in the physics world, um, you're gonna have a lot of more momentum and pushing power if you can get underneath um, an opponent. Same thing in a regular sumo match. You want to go low instead of go high. So this robot here is going to try to get underneath other robots. So that's what this shovel type attachment's for. And then, you know, for the gearing, you already saw the gearing where I have this very small gear here. I believe that's an eight tooth gear that's going to be spinning this 40 tooth gear. So it's going to create a lot of power, lots of torque. And I have this motor on at 100% motor speed. Even though it's going to be 100, it's probably not going to look very fast because we geared up, I'm um, sorry, we geared down so much um, with this tiny gear here. So what I'm going to do today is um, I'm going to have an empty Lego Mindstorms kit and I'm just going to be filling it uh, gradually with bricks, with motors, and like you got a chance to vote last time on whether you think it was going to pull it, today you get to vote and see whether it's going to be able to push it. So let's go straight to the experiment. All right, everybody, here's how this is going to work today. I have the GearBot slash SumoBot. There is an empty EV3 kit. And then here is my stash of bricks and large motors. They're down there somewhere. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is putting... I'm going to start with large motors first, put them into the kit, see if this robot can push the kit past the tape. Um, let's just say that if the Lego, this Lego logo passes the tape, that it was a success. If it's a failure, um, the robot won't, I mean, the program is on for 100% motor speed for 60 seconds. So if this red logo does not go over the tape in 60 seconds, or if just the logo never passes it, it will be considered a failure. So let's go ahead and we're gonna start with the one large motor and you guys, let's have some fun with it. Give me a yes or a no. Will this um, sumo bot be able to push this kit with one large motor? Let's find out. Okay, so the one large motor is inside. Let's go ahead and test this out. I'm watching the Lego logo and it's a cross. Very nice job. Wanted to stop that before it pushed it off the table. So hopefully you guys were right. It was able to push the one large motor. Let's go to two. Okay, the two large motors are inside now. So, you know, who knows how much this weighs. This kit, I mean, it's not light, you know, in any, um, any sense of the way, but it's going to now have two large motors into it. Let's see. Let's see what you guys think. Vote on the two large motors. Here we go. And wow, that thing is over. 
sorry, I accidentally cut away and I actually should have just stopped the robot, but the Lego is way over and there's the two motors. So the sumo bot here was able to push the kit with the two large motors. Let's go to three. Okay, we have the three large motors in there now. So go ahead. Is it gonna be able to push three large motors? Let's find out. And wow, that Lego is way over the line. So yes, it was able to push the three large motors. I now have a bunch of medium motors. So I'm gonna be putting in three medium motors. Let's try that next. Okay, you guys, have you been right so far? All right, it's gonna get a little tougher now. So we have the three large motors, the three medium motors. Let's see if you're right on this one. Will the sumo bot be able to push this load over the line? Let's see if you're right. Here we go. Whoa, and that Lego is over the line. Wow. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing now? I mean, we're talking, that's pretty big power there. I mean, you know, how many sumo bots have three motors on it and then these three uh, medium motors okay so now i'm a little nervous here i'm gonna be putting in a lego ev3 brick just one brick this might get a little tough okay come on you guys you got to be impressed if it can push this entire kit with the brick with the three large motors, with the three medium motors. Come on, you gotta give the sumo bot props if it can do that. So let's try this out now. And okay, you can slowly see in this thing get pushed, right? I mean, we definitely see some wheels spinning here. We're going to give it the full 60 seconds. I see it moving. The question is, can it push it over within the 60 seconds? Uh-oh. There's the Lego logo. Come on. Come on, Sumo Bot. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Do you see that? It was totally getting momentum. Dude, check that out. Major skid marks. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. For those of you that said, no, it's not going to be able to push this load, I'm gonna give it to you. According to the rules, it had 60 seconds and it didn't do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little experiment that I have my students do. Anytime that they are in a sumo match, I usually will try to, especially the underdog student, I tell them to wet down their tires because after a long, you know, many, many sumo battles, the, the board gets a little dusty, it gets a little, you know, the wheels will start to lose its grip. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to wet down the wheels and we're going to give this another shot. No, those of you that voted no, you're not going to get proved wrong. We're just going to see if wetting the wheels and giving it a little bit more grip will work. Okay guys, so I took, you can definitely see that I wetted them down. So now let's see if it can push this same load um, past the line. Here we go. And my robot's starting to go sideways here. Okay, let me try that again. Man, check out what it's doing to my table. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can center this a little better. Sorry about that, everybody. Let me see if I can center this better so it doesn't go sideways on me. 
Okay. Everything looked good. I tried to line up the logo with the middle of this table. In fact, it's a little bit farther behind it. Let's try it again. It's definitely struggling, but that's a lot of weight. see what wetting down the wheels can do so it pushed it all the way across so those of you that are gonna you know in the future get into a sumo match that's one of the secrets is wetting down the wheels just to give yourself a little extra traction I actually have another piece of advice in a second but let's see if it could possibly do another brick Okay, I definitely have doubts about this, especially how hard it struggled with just the one brick. But now I have two in here. And come on, you never know. Come on, this gearbot's like, don't quit on me now. Okay, guys, so let's see. This is going to be the final test. Can it push the two bricks, the three large motors, and the three medium motors? Here we go. Come on, gearbot. Prove everybody wrong. It might have met its match. I don't even see it moving. Maybe a tiny bit? Okay, maybe this was just too much weight, which is understandable. And doesn't seem like this kit's going anywhere. Okay, so let's do some comparison here, guys. I mean, look at this gearbot. It has the brick, which is one brick here two large motors and that's it you can see here that it has the weight of the kit two bricks three medium motors and three um, large motors so you know if this was going up against another robot um, which only has the one brick and possibly the two large motors this thing would just annihilate that robot unless you know it was another gearbot so I told you I was going to give you another piece of advice for those of you that might do a sumo match. Usually um, in our class, we'll have the robots lined up side by side like this, where one robot's facing this way and the other robot's facing that way. Um, in the past, I've seen gearbots lose. Here's why. Because the gearbot moves slower than a regular other robot would be that's not geared down. Um, I've seen a gearbot lose because it turns the wrong way. It's turning this way. The other robot's turning this way, and it senses this robot and can push it from behind. Um, so I always encourage my students to have two programs because we switch. You know, um, if this robot was here, the next time we would switch and have this robot over on this side. So I usually tell my students, hey, be smart have one program that has the robot turning left and that in this situation we would want it to turn left or if it flips have a program where it turns right that way you're never turning away from your opponent and you can give your you know the opponent a chance to push you off so that is just another tip that you might do or use um, if you're in a sumo bot competition Okay, everybody, so give it up for this GearBot Sumo Bot. Yeah. This guy is a champ. Um, like I said, I've seen this Sumo Bot um, just, well, GearBot too, um, win so many Sumo Bot competitions. So it got to the point where my students were all making these GearBots because they were like, man, we can't beat a GearBot. So they were basically saying, you know, if you can't beat it, join it. Um, but it, then it kind of depended on what they did with their gearbot to, you know, beat out the other ones. So 
it's just a friendly um, you know, piece of advice for those of you that might be in a sumo competition. But today it was all about, you know, educating you on the gearing, about torque and, you know, angling to give yourself a better advantage. So, you know, those of you that might wrestle, you guys know this. It's always better to go down than to be, you know, higher up. You can just get better leverage and push better when you go low. So that's another piece of advice. Um, my students would also have to put on an ultrasonic sensor. So that's another tricky part about this robot, having this shovel in the front. You don't want to put your ultrasonic sensor right here because it would pick up this shovel and you would be just blindly going around the sumo table. So that you might have to put that ultrasonic sensor on here or somewhere else, but I'm gonna leave that up to you guys, okay? All right, guys, hopefully you're still having fun, staying safe, having fun with robotics. I am Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.